Hello, and welcome to Miris Industry Analysis this April 2022. With March now behind us, we saw another month of a closeout with modest gains across all cohorts. And that is great news for all. Now, with total claiming activity sliding slightly over March, that indicated the sector is still balancing some of the administrative activities for funding with other priorities. And if we look to the complex healthcare domain, and specifically pain management claiming, we are approaching nearly two thirds of the Medicare database that has a resident ACFI claim against it with a 4B procedure. Well, the budget announcements were out on the 29th of March, 2022, and the inaugural residential aged care ANAC NWAU starting price is now $216.80. Now at this starting price, the average resident ANAC funding is expected to be approximately $225 per day. And with it, the financial impact of services has become more real. Along with the associated subsidy rates of each classification, there is also an increased visibility of care minute requirements for each classification under ANAC. Now, this must be compared to current service rosters to understand the net financial impact at each of the facilities you operate. The scatter plot diagram that demonstrates the variable impact of ANAC on providers across the sector. Now, the two variables will be the relative performance of your ACFI to industry and the relative amount of care time you are currently delivering. Now, most of the industry will fall around the average and have inadequate care time in their current rosters, but they will benefit from the added revenue of the new funding, which commences on the 1st of October, 2022. The big winners will be those who are already outperforming the industry average for care minutes. So we'll not need to adjust their costs, but will benefit from the increase to their top line funding. An unfortunate few will see increases to their costs and potentially reduced revenue. These few will currently have high subsidy revenue due to practices that are supported by ACVI, such as the 4B claiming and pain management, but will not be directly funded by the new ANAC mechanism. Well, on the emissions front, positive news across the sector, as we saw a slight uptick this month in occupancy rates. This breaks a downward trend that the industry has been facing over the holiday period, and we hope this will continue for some time into the future. Now, as we continue to work towards the introduction of average case mix adjusted care minutes when October 1st takes over, we did see modest gains in delivered care minutes across the sector. It is appearing that March was a much more stable month for providers as overall agency minutes worked on a per bed per day basis fell 23% from last month, which was line ball with what the sector put on in the February quarter. Allied Health grew a further 19%, demonstrating that providers are still investing in the pain management clinics to ensure subsidies are optimized all the way through to the end of ACFI.